you move, you move, you move, you move, you move. What's going on, everyone? No, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is Minty Magic with a Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary box that I'm going to open for you guys. I've been wanting to get this actually for a while for two reasons. One, I want to show Wizards of the Coast how it's done. And two, I actually did play Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. So I'm, I'm really excited to open this. Uh, for those of you who don't know or aren't aware, I assume most of my viewers are, but if you're actually here because of Yu-Gi-Oh!, you may not know that Wizards of the Coast, the company that makes Magic the Gathering, put out a 30th anniversary, uh, I guess you'd call it a collector box. It All it had was four, uh, four 15 card booster packs in it. 13 were just regular frame, um, and then you got two retro frames and a token. Uh, and that was it. And that was for $1,000. Four packs, $1,000. The kicker, they had a different backing. They weren't even a magic backing, so they weren't even tournament legal at all. You can't play them in any tournament anywhere. So basically, you get 60 proxies that are completely useless. Konami, on the other hand, and let me preface this by saying, I don't know how Yu-Gi-Oh! fans feel about Konami, so I'm not going to say that they are amazing, but this is how you do an anniversary edition. You know what's inside of this? You get six booster packs from the original sets you got let's see uh legend of blue eyes white dragon metal raiders Sp spell ruler pharaoh's servant dark crisis and invasion of chaos and then on top of that you get oh it's not focusing for the reason there you go you get the three egyptian god cards and the special edition blue eyes dark magician and uh, red eyes black dragon and then you get another special card in their quarter century secret rare technology foiling so and all of these cards are immediately tournament legal. Oh, and I forgot to say, this was like 30 bucks. Look at this. 25th anniversary from my LGS, $29.99 plus tax. For six booster packs plus seven other playable cards. Isn't that wild? So let's get into it. I know this is a little different since I don't actually have any other Yu-Gi-Oh! content on my channel. But uh, I just thought it was funny. It's honestly kind of a troll to Wizards of the Coast. Ooh, baby. What you want? Ooh, baby. All right, so there are the packs. Oh, I lost one. So we'll actually open these in reverse order. Uh, that way we can get the older cool stuff first here are the Egyptian gods I think I'm gonna open this last because that last card I, I want to be special that's like a special foiling look you can kind of even see it there so let's get into it I'm not gonna lie I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh since like high school so I have no idea what is value I do know some of the older sets simply because um, I played back in the day like I had the Kaiba deck, I had the Pegasus deck, I had the uh, Yugi deck, obviously, and I had the Joey deck. So I don't know what is value, but you know, if you're somebody who played Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day, you will uh, appreciate this just like I do. That is, I don't know what the rarities are called. I think the silver is a rare, but not. Or maybe that's the uncommon, I can't remember. See how it's got like kind of a shiny word on it. Here's our first foil, DD Designator. Yeah, the foilings always look kind of cool on these cards. Big Koala, Manju of the 10,000 Hands. And I don't know value on these, I'm, not, I'm sorry. So don't, don't murder me in the comments if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player. He didn't know that that Primal Seed was worth $50. What an idiot. Sorry, I don't know. But I will look it up. And I will add them in to the video so you guys can see all the value. And I'm sure there's a special way. Let's let's see. Is it like three? Let's do like that and see what happens. Griggle. Slot machine. I remember playing with this card actually. Flash Assailant. Dark Zebra. Ceremonial Bell. Taylor of the Fickle. Horn of the Unicorn. Dude, I used to actually play this card all the time. Quit monster gain 700 attack and defense. And this card sent from the field to graveyard returned to the top of the deck. 
I love that card. And Mechanical Snail. So maybe I did them in the wrong order that time. <laughs> I want to say this is the rare, the, sh the, the, the silver one, and then you have a chance at foils. All right, Dark Crisis. Oh, this is so weird. The Magic Packs, I think, are the opposite. I think they're still the opposite way, so I keep grabbing them in the wrong direction. All right. Oh, let's do the three thing again. Maybe it's four. Oh, no, because that could be a foil. Yeah, let's try four. Oh! <laughs> foil rare, rare vampire lord. Well, I messed that one up. Look at that foiling. Yu-Gi-Oh foils are pretty nuts. Look at that. All right, vampire lord. I believe that is our rare. Goblin of Greed, Battle Scarred again, Ray of Hope. Gaga Gigo. Oh, and there's a uh, metalizing parasite lunatic. That's kind of cool, lunatite. So, all right, so three is the right way to go. Um, I'm gonna leave that one out because it looks like a special foil. And like I said, you guys are probably gonna watch this and be like, what is this idiot doing? Doesn't know anything. And you know what? That's kind of true. And I apologize for that. <laughs> Deep Sea Warrior. See, now these cards, I definitely played up through this set. I, I remember playing with these cards. Four-star Ladybug of Doom. That card is so funny. Mr. Volcano, I remember having that in the deck. Gift of Mystical Elf. I just love the way this card looked, honestly. Increase your life points by 300 for each monster on the field. Yeah, very nice. Type 0 Magic Crusher. And a Shift. Oh, yeah. I used to play that card as well. And a Grave Robber. Yes, dude, that card. Dude, I love playing this card. Select one spell card from your opponent's graveyard. You can uh, use it as your hand. You can use it as your hand until the end of turn. If you use it, you take 2,000 points of damage. I love the way this card looked. That's cool, man. All right. Metal Raiders. I believe this is when you got the blue eyes. I mean, the, I'm sorry, the uh, red eyes black dragon, if I'm not mistaken. And these packs are random, by the way. So, I have no idea what I'm going to get. Seven Colored Fish. Punished Eagle Mushroom Man number two. Okay, okay. Lava Battleground. Uh, Hoshinin. Hoshininin. Huh. And an Armored Lizard. Alright. Last pack here. Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Like I said, I will look up all the value for these. So, and I will, come on. I will appropriately sleeve and or hard sleeve if there's anything of crazy value. Um, that's the one thing about this. I, you know, these cards could all be worth absolutely nothing. I have no idea. And I know that some of the Magic 30 cards are worth something, but they're literally proxies. So, they're only worth something to investors, whereas I feel like these cards can be worth something to investors and to uh, players alike. Goblin Secret Remedy and a Mammoth Graveyard. Wow, that is that is classic. If you ever watch the shows, you know Mammoth Graveyard. That's classic, dude. Awesome. Okay. All right. <laughs> I got we got some nostalgic stuff. Whether it was good or not, I don't know. Let's open up this. I don't know how to open this. I don't want to damage any of these cards because these cards could be worth something moving on, moving forward. I mean, <laughs> don't judge, don't judge me, <laughs> don't judge me, don't judge me. Yeah. So that backing looks different. I assume that's still gonna be tournament legal, or maybe that maybe this might be the only promo card that's not legal. So there we go. Obelisk, the Tormentor. And man, I remember these Egyptian god cards. Everybody wanted to run them, obviously. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Even though they cost, you had to you had to do all sorts of crazy stuff to like tribute summon these. Winged Dragon of Ra. Look at that. Like what is it? You don't even you don't even know. There's not even any other room. 
or any other text on it. But like, look at Obelisk. <laughs> it's Slifer. Look at that power or that attack and defense. Blue eyes, white dragon. Man, that is. That's so cool looking. I am curious about curling too. We'll see. Dark magician. Very nice. And red eyes, black dragon. Dude, iconic, man. Those are some iconic cards. I'm actually going to put those separately. Because I want to sleeve all those. I don't want any scratches. And here's our special card. Oh, my God. The Winged Dragon of Ra. Look at that foiling. Oh, look at that stamp. How did I get it? I got it to pop up for a second. Dude, you, you like almost can't even see that. That is wild. Dude. What's crazy is it almost looks like a sticker. Let me see this up close. It's like oddly smooth. It almost feels like a sticker. And it feels a little thicker. That's cool. I don't know which of the gods is like the best one. And I think with this style of foiling, it was going to be one of these six. But that is cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, fan, thanks for tuning in. This will probably be the only time you'll see Yu-Gi-Oh! content on my channel. I mean, if you want to like and sub, that's up to you. If you're a Magic fan, we'll be back to your regularly scheduled Magic content here soon. Otherwise, stay minty out there.